For 120 years, Harley Davidson has been the most desirable motorcycle brand in the world. Together with our community, we stand for the timeless pursuit of adventure and freedom for the soul. Today, as we start a new chapter in India, we're excited to bring our partnership with Hero Motor Corp to life. Trust me when I tell you that the unique experience of riding your first Harley Davidson is something you'll never forget. We're proud of today's launch and what we've accomplished together. I hope you can join us on the journey. United we ride. There is a very personal emotion behind the coming together of two global iconic brands. The first being the world's most iconic brand, Harley Davidson, and the second being the world's largest two-wheel mobility brand, Hero. There is a, a favorite picture of mine that I really cherish very much of my father back in the early 90s. In fact, you can see him sitting on his Harley Road King in front of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco with my mother behind him. Perhaps they both rode the bike from Los Angeles to San Francisco on Highway 1. This project has had multiple teams working across the world from our research and development center that is the Hero Global Center for Innovation and Technology in Jaipur, India and the Hero Tech Center in Munich, Germany, working very, very closely with the Harley Davidson's Product Development Center at Milwaukee in USA. This has truly been a perfect example of Hero's mission, which is to create, collaborate, and inspire. Well, when Hero Motor Corp approached me in 2020, asking if I wanted to head the Harley-Davidson business and resurrect a single-cylinder machine that Harley-Davidson hadn't made anywhere in the world for nearly half a century, it seemed like an opportunity that was too good to be true. just come back to Delhi, it was around 2009, and I went to see a car restoration workshop that was also specialized in the restoration of old motorcycles and old horse carriages. And when I was there, the gentleman who ran the workshop said, let me show you something. So I followed him into his house, walked through his living room, he took me into his bedroom, and parked right there it was a 1926 Harley Davidson pea shooter a 350cc single-cylinder machine. This was a really pivotal machine for Harley-Davidson. AMA had pretty much come up with a 21 cubic inch class, which corresponds to 350cc, to bring the average speeds in racing down. This bike became the basis for Harley-Davidson's success in Europe, in Australia and Japan. Well, in automotive design, 
And this applies to cars, it applies to motorcycles, and it applies to aircraft. It has often been said, it's actually quite a famous saying, the beauty is not when you have nothing to add, it's when you have nothing to take away. And I think that's what we've achieved with this single cylinder motorcycle. One cylinder. We can't forget the significance of the number one. One stands for individuality, one stands for simplicity, and one stands for a pioneering spirit. All these qualities we brought to the market with the HDX 440. Looking good, guys? Yes. Hi, I'm Mandeep Sandhu, part of the global product planning team here at Hero Motor Corp. So the task for creating the X440 was simple, yet at the same time, it was very challenging. We wanted to honor the legacy of Harley Davidson brand when we launched the product X440. We wanted it to have the look of a Harley, the feel of a Harley, and it should sound like a Harley as well. At the same time, this bike needs to cater to the needs and requirements of an Indian consumer, an Indian leisure motorcyclist. Hero Motocop is the largest two-wheeler manufacturer in the world. By virtue of that, we have deep consumer insights across every motorcycling segment in India. We have taken those consumer insights and we have used that understanding to develop the brief which went into making the X440. Summarizing the brief to R&D, the motorcycle had to be comfortable, yet engaging to ride. It had to be powerful, yet it had to be reliable. The motorcycle needed to have a very commanding road presence. It's not just about how the bike looks, but also about how it inspires the rider to feel that confidence within. One important element on this bike which could not have been missed was the sound. The sound needed to give this motorcycle a very unique identity. After all, before you see a Harley Davidson, you hear it. As I was growing up, as a young boy, I used to see these huge metal machines, the battle tanks that were being tested across this cross country, day in and day out. That inspired freedom, this sense of fearlessness and power in me. I am Dr. Arun Jara, Chief Technology Officer for the Global Center for Innovation and Technology here at Hero Water Corp. CIT, or the Global Center for Innovation and Technology. This is the powerhouse for Euro Motor Corp for any innovation, technology, product, and process. No other place better than CIT could have actually taken this Harley Davidson Hero project and the program forward. The infrastructure here is world class, and the talent that we have is a global talent. When we put all these things together, we get a synergy of a winning proposition. It's Harley Davidson X440. It has to look like a Harley. It has to feel like a Harley. And it has to sound like a Harley. There are no two thoughts about it. So, hi, I'm uh, Teofilo Plaza Garcia. Uh, everybody knows me as uh, Teo. I basically uh, focus on motorcycles. My passion is two wheels. So now I am um, working for Hero Motor Corp as the head of industrial design studio. So for this, we established a little bit of, uh, of uh, role distribution and we all understood that being the first product, um, the need of, uh, of Harley Davidson in the overall design was fundamental. Uh, and so we did. So uh, we agreed that they would actually take the initiative on the on the overall design, and then what Hero would bring to the to the picture is to take that design into the reality of the market. 
the engine has a very iconic element. On top of it is a fuel tank. As per body part, the fuel tank is the center of Argy Davidson design. So we designed a quite large, massive, very present uh, um, fuel tank with very clean weldings. So we actually hide all the weldings in the, in the best condition of uh, Harley Davidson way. So that was a very challenging part, but those three elements, engine, fuel tank, and side cover, they actually compose a very powerful mass in the center. And it's all metal. So you can barely find plastic in this motorcycle. And that was one of the biggest challenges. For Harley Davidson products, um, the care on detailing is, uh, is super important. We know that the big presence of the bike, when you see it fresh, far away the first time you approach to it is, is, uh, is what actually would attract you from it. But then once you get to it, once you get to know it, when you get to sit on it, all the details, all the care, the really refined, solid uh, uh, um, feeling that Harley Davidson puts to it, this bike had to have exactly the same. And on that, we did a very heavy work on meeting. So when I look at the final product, wh what do I see? I see a few Harley Davidson. And uh, I've seen many Harley Davidson in my life. I desired many of them. It's the first time that I have the honor of designing one. It's a true Harley. I'm David Lopez Cordova. I'm 48 years old. I am from Spain. I come from a family of uh, motorcyclists. Um, my dad was a racer. No doubt I became a racer myself for a long time. And then uh, when I finished my engineering degree, I moved into vehicle development, which I've been doing for the last 23 years in different parts of the world, including the last five years here in Vito. To deliver the feel of the Harley Davidson, we actually understand uh, or dedicate a lot of time to understand the customer needs, first of all. When developing the ergonomics of the Harley project, we wanted to ensure that we deliver a rider position that made the rider feel really commanding with a comfortable position upright, but as well with quite flat and open bars that give this muscular feel um, to the motorcycle and the rider itself. And giving a sense that he's riding above the rest when he's sitting on this motorcycle. Okay. So when it came to selecting the frame configuration for the Harley project, we investigated a number of options. We ended up settling uh, for a um, trellis frame Structurally, it's a very robust frame, and considering the conditions in India, this configuration of frame ensures that the durability of the frame is really optimal. On the uh, suspension, uh, we have gone for top-level components. On the front forks, we have gone for 43 mm upside-down front forks with a dual cartridge damping system. On the rear suspension, we got for uh, dual shocks um, with uh, gas field configuration that ensure, again, really consistent performance no matter the temperature or the conditions of the road. The rear suspension being also adjustable for preload to ensure that you can cater for different types of uh, riders and different load conditions. On the uh, braking front, on the front brake, we have uh, selected to go for a 320 millimeter uh, front disc, which is the biggest thing in the class, to ensure that we have a very powerful front brake. On the rear brake, we have also ensured that the mechanical and hydraulic ratios deliver that progressive but powerful feel. And on this bike, we are introducing also a dual channel ABS that ensures maximum safety when braking in whatever the circumstances balancing between optimum deceleration and stability. Then ensuring with this vehicle as well that they offer a vehicle that will work in India 
because we have considered our customers here and we have understand our customers before we deliver. So when I got when I get onto these people and I feel it, I feel completeness. I feel passion, the passion of the people behind me. And when I write it, I just feel the thrill, the power, the uh, commandingness of this writing experience, writing position, the sound, how it complements uh, every pulse of the engine when you're moving around. It just feels great. Hi, my name is Carl William Burrell. Uh, I'm head of engine design and development at CIT Hero Motorcorp. With the sound, there is very specific things about products, okay? You know when the Harley Davidson's coming, you don't have to see it. You know, that's, it's really clear for their strategy, okay? So what you've got to do is understand their strategy and try and put that in place. Now, the mechanics of manipulating sound in a, uh, an exhaust system is wide and variable. You can pretty much do what you want, but you've got to know what you want. So we spent a lot of time talking to Harley Davidson, understanding their, the, you know, how do you transfer that energy in terms of a Harley product from a two cylinder to a single cylinder? That was a difficult part. Once we understood that, the mechanics of getting the sound is relatively easy. It's knowing what you need to deliver is the key part. That's around the success of that. Now, what does it feel like? Okay, We're, single cylinders are different, okay? How you set your crank up will give you a different sound. I can have 360 crank on a single, I can have a 180 crank. There's, there's different variations I can do. But what I do like to do is try and just be offbeat. Think about what makes you dance. Is anybody dancers here? What makes you dance is the offbeat. When you want to tap your foot, it's not beat, 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 beat. It's beat, 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 beat. And it's just a few degrees off. And you set that up with your engine architecture. And that gives you that feel you can play with with your exhaust system not afterwards. So a huge amount of work's gone into that. One, understanding what our customer needs. Two, how do we implement that? and three, giving the results that Harley Davidson require. And I think all of them things were achieved. So key characteristics of the Harley Davidson X440 engine include a power target of 26.5 brake horsepower at 6,000 RPM, alongside a torque target of 37 Newton meters at 4,000 RPM. An engine that can do anything that you want it to do in India. Very important. You want to go to the top of a mountain? It'll go to the top of a mountain. Wait to go fast on the track? It'll go fast on the track. If you want low speed pull with two people and panniers on, it'll give you that as well. You know, so it, it's, the engine is, gives different vehicles potential to reach their capabilities. And that's what we've tried to do with this uh, design. And that core design is what we've just talked about. Two valve, Oil cooled, really simple construction, robust, durable, capable. These are hero qualities. That's what hero sells its products on. I wanted that to be translated into this product. And I think we've achieved that. Hi, I'm Sanjay Gujral, Chief Engineer for T Harley Davidson X440. I come from New Delhi, India. I am Roberto Resteri. I'm responsible for all validation tests. I'm Italian and I come from Milano. Roberto, X440 is ready. What is uh, your plan for validation and what all you have already done it? In CIT, we have, uh, for sure, we make what we call fleet that basically are uh, almost 20,000 kilometers run all inside the circuit. But in our circuit, we have also completely different type of asphalt, of surface. We have a, a small hill, 
we have a wet, completely wet to check the ABS and all this type of different surface has been tested and checked deeply. We have a special, a special area inside CIT that we call dust tunnel. That is something that simulates the running with so much dust in the environment and we make so many kilometers there, always checking what happened inside the box and inside all the components of the mine. Since we're making this Harley first time, anything special we've done which we you think? I, I cannot enter in, in every details uh, for logical reason, but I can say that uh, all the standards that we use uh, respect uh, what we use normally has been strongly reinforced. Because, uh, so sorry if I insist, but uh, something is not a normal brand. We are talking about what Ray Davidson. It's something special, as, as a soul. So, if you want to work for this type of brand, uh, also your soul might, must be in agreement with the concept. And, uh, for sure, I will put all my efforts and I push all my people to be strong on that. Hi, I'm Praveen Koleka, the project lead for the Harley-Davidson X440. The Harley-Davidson X440 comes in three variants. First variant features a classic look with its spoke wheel design. The second variant offers a touch of modernity through alloy wheels and dual tone colors. For those seeking the ultimate premium experience, the Pinnacle. Boasting diamond cut alloy wheels, meticulously machined engine fins, advanced connect features and 3D decals. The vehicle is equipped with a very vibrant TFT speedometer, offering a wide range of key functionalities. Features also include RTMI, DTE, gear indicator, and access to vehicle battery health. Speedometer provides turn by turn navigation, allowing riders never lose their way. With smart connect features, a rider can answer calls, check message alerts, and control music without any distraction. It also switches seamlessly between day and night modes through an ambient light sensor, optimizing visibility in every light conditions. Easy to put on, difficult to take. <laughs> what do you think? Beautiful, I'd say uh, uh, effortless in fact. Yes. You know, there was no, I'm not feeling any strain when I'm riding, even after doing a bunch of laps. I don't feel tired in my shoulders, not in my wrist, there's no pump anywhere. So effortless because it just doesn't feel like there's any weight over there. But at the same time, it's very planted. It, when I say that it's confidence inspiring, it's because if I let off the gas and I enter a corner, it doesn't lug, it doesn't pull. The forks, the way it turns, the way it handles, the way it holds line, uh, just full of praise. And I don't think this compares to any of the bikes in its class. So it's it's a very unique uh, way in the way, you know, it's fundamentally designed. And uh, hats off to you guys and the team. What about the character? <laughs> Nice looking, the tank, the tank really stands out, the neck is beautiful, the frame looks really nice cradling that engine. Um, so visually also it's a, it, it's a nice bike, it's got a lot of mass there, it's got a lot of bulk, it doesn't feel like a small bike. And even when you're riding it, even though there's no vibration there, but the thump of that single 4 4 tree, you know, it's there. So whether it's parked and idling and you rev it or uh, while you're on the fly. So it's, it's amazing to look at, it's amazing to ride. Yeah. What about the, the engine? The engine has got a lot of juice, it's got power in the bottom, it's got power in the mid, uh, it's got substantial torque. Uh, so, yeah, it does, it, it, it never feels like, you know, uh, if you're actually running out of power. So, and then the way the gear, the gearing is done also is nice. And I could see myself cruising anywhere between second to the fifth. Yeah. And if I'm heading out on the highway, there's always a sixth gear. And, you know, I think, I think it's got all the boxes checked as far as that is concerned.
Can we turn the lights on? It's been a rather long movie already. Lights! The very first Harley Davidson that I ever owned was an XR 1200X. A motorcycle that traces its lineage all the way back to the XR 750. A legendary motorcycle in itself. The very first time I laid my eyes on the Harley Davidson X440, it was hard not to see the resemblance. Hi, I'm Vijay Thomas, Head Marketing Harley Davidson Business Unit at Hero Motor Cop. The X440 is for the freedom seeker and the engaged dreamer. It's for the one who dreams of riding a motorcycle to work every day. It's for the one who wants to be a little bit faster today than yesterday. It's for the one who impatiently waits for a Sunday morning to answer the call of the open road. And it's for the one who can't stop exploring new roads. The Harley Davidson X440. It's a blank canvas. It is that versatile. Now, if you ask me, for a consumer, there are two, two stages of their life. There's, there's time before owning a Harley Davidson and there is life after owning a Harley Davidson. In a few months, this motorcycle is going to change lives. Everything will change. This motorcycle is going to curate powerful stories. To be there to sit on the sidelines and watch all these stories come together. All those lives that are going to change and all those journeys that are going to take place. That is the most exciting part.